On to our very next story now. And a local plant, Salacia debilis, known in Akan as Hamachrebing, has been used locally to treat malaria. Scientists at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology have affirmed its effectiveness against the deadly disease with the discovery of previously unknown substances that have shown potential in eliminating the parasite. The plant, Salacia debilis, also known as Hamachrebing, is a woody climber. Trebang in a can refers to the green mamba because of its ability to wrap around plants. This plant for centuries has been used to treat malaria. Yes. Uh, so, yes, the scientists, led by PhD student Michael Connie, set out to investigate the scientific basis of its actions. Uh, we have um, some plants that are ethnomedically or locally used for the treatment of so many ailments and diseases in Ghana. However, there are, we don't have a lot of scientific backing or um, scientific information to support their use in the local settings. So one of the main reasons why I decided to embark on this project is to be able to establish or set out some scientific basis for the use of these plants um, locally. And then also be able to come up with um, scaffolds or compounds that can be further developed into drug candidates that can help with the ongoing issues with malaria. The work, supervised by Dr. Lawrence Shenning Hambokwe of the Department of Chemistry and Dr. Edmund Ekwaji of the Department of Pharmacognosy, found that extracts of Salacia debilis was able to kill malaria parasites. They isolated three additional substances from Salacia debilis, which had this ability. So in the investigation, I was able to discover or find that Salacia debilis is able to kill plasmodium parasites. We are using both in vivo and in vitro assays, or when we are testing it in um, how do I call it, in a test tube or in a living organism, which means that the local plants indeed have the ability to kill plasmodium parasites. And then again, it's also able to isolate three compounds from the uh, salacia debris or the plants that still have the antiplasmodium activity. So the substances that I was able to isolate from salacia debris have never been scientific literature at all. It is the first time that they are being reported in literature, which means that they are novel. Now, the interesting thing about novel compounds is the fact that they may have unique modes of actions, and they may ultimately come out as the next um, anti-malaria drug that is uh, that can come on the market. The scientists would be delighted to see other researchers.